How and when did I go vegan? What exactly do I eat? Just how f***ing old am I? What are my thoughts on Raw Till 4? That and more in today's Q&A. Today I'm going to be hitting some of the basics. If you don't hear your question today, don't fret. There's going to be a lot more Q&A videos. And some of your questions might require their own video. For instance, I had a lot of requests about my tattoos, so I did a tattoo tour on Monday. I also had a lot of B12 questions, so Wednesday was all about B12. If you missed either of those, there's links to them in the description below. By the way, if you hear weird noises in the background, Ubi's going after one of her toys and doing it in the way that she does everything, very loudly. <coughs> So let's get started. The most asked question by far was how and why and when I went vegan. Well, honestly, I can't give you an exact date. My mother tells me that when I was four years old, I started to refuse to eat meat. I don't consciously remember this myself, but as I grew up and learned where dairy and eggs actually come from, I stopped eating those as well. You see, when other kids my age were going door to door selling Girl Scout cookies, I was the weird kid going door to door to educate about the plight of mountain gorillas in Africa and raising money for the Diane Fossey Foundation. I found that when you're like three feet tall, people don't really take you seriously. But I was definitely not raised in a vegan household. Which addresses Eric Jones' question, is anyone else from your family vegan? Sadly, no. Both I Love Svetlana 101 and Nico F asked, what did you do with non-vegan items that you had from before you went vegan? Like leather belts, wool sweaters, non-vegan shampoos, etc. Did you use them up or wear them out or give them away or throw them away? When I originally went vegan in my youth, I don't think a lot of those things were actually on my radar. But when I became aware of them, my personal choice was to throw away whatever items were animal derived. But that's not a vegan dick that you have to do. If your choice is to have no shoes in winter or wear a pair of leather boots that you bought 10 years ago before you were vegan, wear the damn boots. Several of you, including Jack Vegan, The Veggie Nut, and Eric Jones asked, how old am I? Well, if you guys are running a betting pool, get ready. I am, as of April, 30 years old, but I still don't know how to dress like an adult. Melissa Boisvenu asks, what's your best response to the classic animals were put on this earth for us to eat remark by meat eaters? There's actually a really kick-ass quote from Alice Walker that addresses this very question. She says, the animals of the world exist for their own reason. They were not made for humans any more than black people were made for white or women created for men. Although the argument that animals were put here for us to eat presupposes the existence of a god or creator. And if you don't personally hold that belief and are talking to someone who does, the conversation might not be that productive. The Veggie Nut asks, do you have a vegan idol hero favorite. I totally love Gary Yarofsky. I was wondering if you have a fave. I do, and it's actually the same person. I was already vegan the first time I saw Gary's talk, but his activism and its effectiveness is what inspired and drove me to try to make even a fraction of the difference that he has in the world. Which, by the way, answers Shamise Armstrong's question, what made you start making videos? If you haven't already, please watch Gary's talk. Both Alice Klein and Chris Giovanetti asked if I actually know Gary personally and if I've met him. And yes, I do, and I have. In fact, one of the times I was volunteering at Sasha Farm Animal Sanctuary, Gary and his wife came out, and with Monty, the co-founder, we helped rescue these two beautiful boys, Pima and Dharma. While I'm on the topic of Sasha Farm Animal Sanctuary, Chris Giovanetti also asked, your necklace looks really cool. What is it? This necklace was made by Christine Wagner, who works at Sasha Farm Animal Sanctuary. She's an incredible woman who does so much for the animals there. Her website is designspecimen.com where you can get your own handmade jewelry with a message. So definitely head over and check out her stuff. My necklace says vegans, a voice for the voiceless. And it's a little worn because I wear it every day. Safarma asks, what is your specific regime? High carb, low fat, raw till four. The way I eat would most likely be categorized, I guess, as a high carb, low fat, raw vegan diet. Now that's not to say I don't get a wild hair up my ass every once in a while and steam some vegetables or a potato. Crazy Cat Lady 1313 asks, I'm a raw till four vegan. What are your views on it? Well, first off, I support any diet that's vegan. And the way of eating vegan that I support the most and that I think is the perfect way to eat vegan is whatever way of eating you can sustain and will keep you vegan. I don't think there's one right way to do vegan. I really enjoy eating a raw diet, but it's not for everyone, whereas eating vegan is for everyone. I think the raw till four diet is a great blend of the benefits of being a raw vegan and a way of eating that's sustainable and realistic for most people. Being vegan should not be a chore. It should not be something you have to suffer through. You shouldn't feel deprived or unsatisfied. Being vegan should be delicious and full of variety. So whatever way of eating vegan that fulfills you and that is something you feel you can continue for the rest of your life, that is the perfect way of eating vegan. If you're coming from a pure health standpoint, then yes, certain ways of eating are gonna be better than others. But as far as I, and I'm sure the animals are concerned, even if you sit on the couch all day with one hand down your pants and the other hand shoving sweet chili Doritos into your gaping mouth, as long as you're not consuming animal products, it's A-OK -okay with me and them. If you have any other questions you'd like answered in a future video, leave them in the comments below. I'll see you soon.